Hello, this is the Active Trades Weekly Outlook. Every Monday we analyze the economic calendar and identify key events, focusing on how they may impact the markets. Stay with us over the next few minutes while I look into how the week is likely to unfold. I will cover a range of topics, including the Bank of Canada rate decision and statement, American inflation, and we'll end with the European Central Bank's monetary policy statement. We'll start this week's projections by talking about the Bank of Canada's rate decision and policy statement, which will come out on Wednesday. This will follow a jobs report last week, which, as was the case in the US, fell short of expectations. The country's economy is expected to grow over the coming months. However, the employment data released on Friday showed that the recovery is still fragile, a reality that will probably influence the tone of the Bank of Canada's rate statement, which is now expected to remain dovish, piling up the pressure on the loonie. Moving south of the border, on Thursday, the US Department of Labour Statistics will release inflation data for May. I'm sure you all remember last month's publication, which surprised to the upside, coming at 4.2%. This triggered a strong reaction in the markets, with the dollar index rising 0.7% on the day. This time around, the expectation is for a rise of prices in the order of 4.6% during the month of May, comparatively to the same period last year. In normal circumstances, such high reading would be likely to offer strong support to the dollar. However, these are not normal times, with the Fed determined to stick with its current policies until the recovery reaches a more advanced stage. So, whatever the number, it is possible that dollar shorts will continue to prevail in the markets. The fact that Friday's payrolls fell short of expectations will probably reinforce the Federal Reserve's determination, while also cooling down the expectations of those who counted on the very high jobs number to help the central bank change this stance. The payroll number of 559,000 is probably the ideal figure for the Feds, as it shows that the recovery is continuing, but at the same time eases the pressure for any earlier tapering. Also on Thursday, the head of the European Central Bank, Christine Lagarde, will give a press conference which follows the monetary policy statement release. It is highly unlikely that there will be any surprises, as the central bank is firmly anchored on a dovish stance. European economies have been recovering some of the ground lost during Q1, when the continent lagged behind its peers, mainly due to a mismanaged vaccination program. With lockdowns easing across the continent, economic activity has boomed, with some inflation concerns starting to arise. However, it is unlikely that Lagarde will deviate from a recent stance of dismissing any price rises as temporary, a very similar position to that of the Fed on the other side of the Atlantic. The truth is that this attitude is already firmly baked into the value of the single currency. Lately, the main vectors determining the performance of the euro have been other currencies, so it's unlikely that Thursday will bring substantial changes to this status quo. Still, it will be worth following this press conference, as sometimes the unexpected can arrive with a slip of the tongue that could trigger a major movement. This is all for today. I will be back next Monday for another weekly preview. In the meantime, please go to activetrades.com for more market analysis. Do subscribe to our channel so we can keep you updated with the latest in the markets. And don't forget to click the like button if you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching.